And what a match to start off night two of the G1 Climax Tournament. <laughs> G-Man going for that patented punch, but John Cena able to think two steps ahead with the AA. Wait, shoves him off, does G-Man. Oh, backslide, counter into the stunner, but he gets his head taken off with that clothesline from the franchise. You can see how exhausted both of these men are. Cena just collapsing onto G-Man after hitting that cloak line there. This has been an absolute war. Nothing but a clinic here by these two men to open up our oh. second oh. round the G-1 and John Cena gets his lights taken out from that punch by the Fallen King. And now this could be his chance to regain his crown by being the first one to beat John Cena. No, no! What a counter by Cena! Yeah, that's where the veteran in John Cena came out, reversing it with the Tornado DDT. Oh, before Cena can capitalize, G-Man with the surprise super kick, and now going for that springboard stunner. Cena able to counter. Back and forth, these men are going. Omega Driver, no, Cena! Able to escape the wrath of the awful waffle into the AA position once again. Second time of the oh. match. No! What a stunner counter from G Man! That was awesome. John Cena already put his cards on the table with one AA earlier in this matchup. And G Man, all he needs to do is just hit one suplex oh. stunner. But wait! Cena able to counter. What a transition into a second AA! Takes the victory. John Cena. John Cena undefeated here so far in the G1 climax. Hogan. God damn it! What what the hell was that last week? That that that, that, that was an embarrassment, is what it was. I promised my audience a dream match, and you just gave them a glimpse into the retirement home. I mean, you're 69 goddamn years old competing in this tournament. I can't even imagine being 69 years old. If you ask me, as an old friend, I think it's better for your health and my bank account if you just relinquish your spot and I talk to Funaki and get a replacement from New Japan. Ooh, maybe I can even bring Kenny back. Well, let me tell you something, brother. If I can't win my match tonight against Taco... Nacho. Nacho! Then you're free to replace me. But it's not gonna happen, dude. Well, we will see about that. Hogan and Nacho. Nacho already played on a classic with Hogan. Wait, what, what the hell is that Hulk Hogan? He's that oh. Oh, oh my god! No! What the hell did Hogan just do? Oh my god! His head crashed onto the stage there. Nacho, Nacho. Is, is he okay? He gotta be out by the way he landed. Hulk Hogan, what have you done? Oh my god, look how long it takes him to grab Nacho. And after all of that, he's gonna he's gonna put Nacho back inside the ring! No. Nacho needs to go to the hospital! Alright, brother, let's get this thing he's started. Fit to Break compete the bell, in this dude. And look at Hogan, this piece of shit! There's one thing I don't think you understand. I cannot ring the bell right now. Hulk, I the referee telling Hogan that he's not time. able to ring so the bell ring right now. Bell Nacho is in no position to compete Fire in a team. match, but... Earl Hefner just rings the bell anyway. Okay, over. just screw Nacho. Oh, there's the leg drop. Fucking tiddlywink leg drop by Hogan. Excuse me, my language is very foul, but how can it not be when I see this bullshit right in front of me? Kimi no Shosha, Haruki Hogan! What have we just watched? Oh yeah, what a win from the great immortal Hulk Hogan. My ass cheeks. Get the hell out of the ring, I'm tired of seeing this guy. Well, I hope we're off to a better main event now with Okada in Judgment Day's Edge. Oh, oh. Okada, no, I'm able to kick Edge's feet out from under him. 
face first onto the steel, and now Okada looking to finish things off with that DDT onto the floor. Did you hear the crack of the skull of the rated R superstar there? Yeah, it sounded awful. <laughs> and now Okada, what's he thinking of hitting here? Perhaps Death Valley Driver onto the apron. That's going to be very yeah. vicious for him. Oh. But oh, what a counter! What a counter there, Crucifix! Oh! Back and forth, these men are going here. Wait a minute, oh! Try to go for a clothesline there. Oh. But oh, he leaves the drop take onto the face of Edge! Edge is now stunned. He's seeing stars here. And speaking of stars, Okada might just be the brightest one to shine in this G1 tournament. Tombstone here, but look at Edge. He's fighting back. Oh, oh Edge Omatic. What a counter there by Edge. Yeah, nicely done by Edge. Oh, oh. missed. I don't know what the hell he tried to do there, but Okada saw it coming a mile away as he hits that German super. But look at him. He's holding on. Shades of Brock Lesnar! Oh. oh! You can see, he's still got control of Edge, and now he's going to transition. And now Okada looking to finish off Edge with the Rainmaker. He hit this on Nacho. Oh. oh, what the hell? Did he really just counter it into a spear? Edge really is on top of things, but look! Okada! Able to grab the ropes just in the nick of time to save himself. Yeah, he was lucky that he was so close. Otherwise, I don't think he would have kicked out of this. Edge pleading with the referee that he thought that was three. But when you're facing off against the Rainmaker, it's almost never three. But now Edge is looking to force it so with one more spear oh. coming on. Look! Okada, once again able to counter. He has Edge in his clutches. What's he thinking of doing? Tombstone! Tombstone by Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. And now he's going to set up for that big Rainmaker to end the match with. This might be the end of it all. What? Edge able to counter once again, ducking under the Rainmaker. Well, wait, Okada able oh. to counter. Oh. What's this? Okada oh. rolls it to the victory. Kimi no Shosa, Okada Kazuchika. Okada barely escaping this match with the win, but a win's a win, and it seems like Edge has a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, but what a big victory for Okada over Edge here tonight, and that makes Okada and Cena lead the block with four points each underneath Hogan and Edge with two points each. There, there, that's where I saw it. Plain as day. We, we have to get the exterminator or something. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that you saw a man eating from the garbage and watching WSC on his phone in my building? Yes, yes, what are you, deaf? And you said he has some kind of deformity? Yes, he, well, well, his body looked great. He actually looked like he had the physique of a god, but his head, it, it was, it was like a child's. Are you on something right now? Because I'm getting kind of jealous. I'm not crazy! He had a six-pack and, and professional-looking wrestling gear. But he had the head of a child. And his voice, it was the stuff of nightmares. Oh, Funaki, you saw it too, didn't you? Back in my building, in the garbage hey, truck. Hey, 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 honey, honey! All right, shut up, both of you. I don't know what kind of Alzheimer's episode you're having right now. But I'm pretty damn sure there's no abomination against God roaming around my arena! Hey! What the shit is that? We're kicking off this night two of the B block with uh, the funeral of Buddy Murphy, as you will. First it was Brock Lesnar, now it's Bane. This guy just can't seem to catch a break, can he? Yeah, <laughs> looking really bad for him here. Now Murphy up top looking for that Meteora, but Bane with the superior strength able to catch him, limps him up. Oh my god, and he lands right into a headbutt from Bane, but he rolls right back with that pump knee onto the chin and the Kamakoye style knee. And now.
now, looking for the Brain Buster, but Brain gets too strong with that x -plex. And now, the Liberator bounces oh. back like a human torpedo! My god! Every strike Bane does is just so intense. Now look at this! Buddy Murphy trying to oh. fight back! Oh no, but it was all for naught! Bane is just pummeling his fans! Power bomb up to the kneecap of Bane! And this has got to be over. I, I don't know how much more he can take. Might as well just finish this now, Bane. Like I said, I don't know how much more he can take. I think he's already unconscious. And Bane just realizes that one, two, three, with a foot on the chest of Buddy Murphy, this match was basically nothing to Bane. Yeah, definitely wasn't. My God, what a performance by Bane. Here is your winner, Bane. Oh, look at that, refusing to have his hand raised. This was not a victory worthy of praise as far as Bane's eyes are concerned. He wants a real challenge in this G1, and he knows exactly who's gonna give it to him, and it is no other than the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. That is gonna be an insane match coming up soon. After a lackluster start to the G1, Jeff Hardy is looking to get redemption on El Desperado. But El Desperado is looking to do the same thing after his loss with Bane. Who's gonna reign supreme tonight? Wait a minute, Desperado able to fight back. Oh, no, just knocks the lights off of Jeff Hardy's head as he's now getting ready to hit the Pinche Loco. But Hardy able to counter. Leg drop onto the balls of Desperado, and he lands that drop kick to the face. Oh, able to miss with that crossbody. Desperado now looking to take advantage. Oh, Quintana did it on him. Two, no. Hardy able to get the shoulder up. I think I just butchered the name up. Uh, of that move there, but it doesn't matter. Just Barato looking for oh, that dodge, no. but there's Evil to spoil the fun, and Chris Masters saw the whole thing. You might as well just get him banned from this entire tournament. Wait, look behind oh. you! Oh! Kick to the net! Up down to Barato by Hardy! And now transitions into the twist of hate, and this, no doubt, is the victory that Hardy craves. Here is your winner, Jeff Hardy. It didn't work against Ishii on the first night, but you're damn sure it worked for Hardy against El Desperado. And now Evil doesn't even want Chris Masters to touch Jeff Hardy. Now we're talking about Brock and Bane, but Jeff is definitely a threat in this b -block. that I've personally been waiting for my entire life since I've known these two competitors. The Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar will go one-on-one -on -one with the Stone Pitbull Tomohiro Ishii. And one can only imagine what carnage is going to be displayed in front of us here tonight at this main event. This is your main event of the evening. Introducing first from GCW. He is the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar has looked unstoppable in this tournament so far. But if there's one man to stop the momentum this early in the tournament, it is none other than the never open weight champion, Tomohiro Ishii. Yeah, and Ishii has already pulled off what to me was an upset last week when he beat Jeff Hardy in the main event of the B Block. And now Tomohiro Ishii is coming after Brock Lesnar and maybe pull off an upset of the century right here. And his opponent from New Japan Pro Wrestling representing Chaos. He is the never open weight champion. Stone Pitbull, Tomohiro Ishii. I can see the fire in 
the eyes. And Tomohiro Ishii, he's been waiting for this matchup too, and he just cannot wait to get it started. Look at these two bulls raging in the middle of this ring. These fans are loving this absolute brutality displayed by the Beast Incarnate on, to, on the expense of the Stone Pitbull. Ramming his shoulders into the gut of Ishii. But Ishii is not feeling any of that shit as he forces Brock Lesnar into the corner. Uh -oh. oh, those classic chops to the throat. I don't even think Brock can handle this shit. Now one big one. Wait, Brock, you had enough of that? Uh -oh. German Supers onto the neck. But Ishii's right back up to his neck. Brock Lesnar has never faced anyone like Ishii, but he knows just what to do to take him down. Tell him, Ishii, how badly he's screwed up here off the rope. Wait a minute, oh. Ishii! Oh! Dunks him on his neck! And Ishii is like a raging bull, not gonna stop with this sliding lariat to the neck! Insane! Oh. Great Buster! That gotta be is it! Is it over? No, Brock Lesnar able to kick out! Oh my god, these guys just won't stop! Roaring to the heavens and everyone watching here in attendance. But Brock oh no. Lesnar able to no. cut him off with that F5 maneuver. Wait, he's able to counter. Oh. No, teardrop suplex lands on his head. But Brock Lesnar what? taking a page out of his opponent's book. During that suplex. Suplex City is now in fully in motion. A second one by Brock. He's not letting go, Luke. Oh, oh my God, onto his neck. Right on his neck. But Brock is not done! Off the road! <laughs> Get close like to the stone pitfall! This is over! One! What? He takes on what? it! One! He takes on it! One! Ishii is still up! I am losing my oh. marbles! Look! F5 finally connects! Brock Lesnar! Defeats Tomohiro Ishii! Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. What a main event! Good God Almighty! This match was much anticipated, and it did not disappoint in the slightest. Both of these monsters, both of these gods of the ring, were not backing down to each other one bit. But in the end, something had to give, and that something was Tomohiro Ishii landing from the F5. Indeed, as we look here at the standing in the this is a guy. A bit of respect shown by Tomohiro Ishii as Brock Lesnar looks unstoppable in this G1 climax. We'll have to wait and see.